Hello and welcome. In this video, we use Dungeon Alchemist to make a Royal Throne Room map. I will go through a few ways you could use this map in your own campaign a bit later in the video. But first, let's build the map. First, we create the different rooms in this palace or royal building. The largest room we turn into the throne room. A bit later, you will see that we put the throne at the far end. This would mean that if going to see royalty wasn't scary enough, having a long walk straight up into the main room where you can have many onlookers on each side watching every step you make might be a bit nerve wracking. The initial part of the video is looking at what was automatically generated when the room was created and then amending it how we would like it to be. You don't always have to automatically generate a room with its contents inside. You can simply create the basic structure and then add items after. However, we always like seeing what the software places in there to give us inspiration too. For the main room, we add in fancy walls so that it's noticeable that someone of wealth lives here clearly, if it's a royal throne room. But it gives a nice regal feel to it. Columns are placed in between all the rooms. Now you could have this simply as thicker walls so sound cannot travel easily through them. Or you could have this as a secret tunnel where people could travel along without being seen. You might want to have people hidden in there who are secretly watching every conversation and meeting that happens. Is there one of those creepy portraits where the eyes seem to follow you around when you stare at it? If you look at it for too long, it might even blink. Next comes the flooring. No royal throne room would simply have one colour of stone. This is a stately room and needs to ooze importance and class. Instead of the classic red carpet, those visiting here will see elaborate carpets used to walk through the room. They all point and lead to the throne. The dais is placed at the end and raised so that the royal can oversee everything in the room. But clearly there needs to be more seating so the royal family can sit together. Or it might be that the advisor to the king or queen are nearby. Is there a royal mage or wizard who serves to act as bodyguard from any threats? They'll always be watching the room to ensure they can remove the royal in an emergency. There are four other chairs there, so you can decide who you would have in attendance. Is there a traitor in the midst? And the players might be able to help assist in taking them down. We add in two unusual lanterns compared to the rest of the room. They might hold magic that reveal any invisibility or concealment that a player or NPC might try to use. Or they could hold a powerful enchantment that prevents any kind of magic passing this line. This would be a safety feature to protect the royals from any spells cast or magical effects being placed on them. Or, if you prefer, they could simply be nice decorative lights. So why would the players come to a royal throne room? Could they be invited? or even summoned to the palace for an audience with the king or queen? Is this something the players would be expecting? Or would it be a total surprise why they get the royal letter? Have the party gained positive reputation in the area? Or with high-ranking nobles and that news has been passed on about their abilities and good deeds? 
The king or queen might want to see for themselves who this new up and coming group are. Could there be a royal encounter the players are tasked with? As mentioned, there may be a traitor in the royal court. This traitor needs to be identified and dealt with urgently. How would the players go about investigating? Would they speak with everyone? Would you have some NPCs acting as red herrings? Who might seem evil, but are actually extremely patriotic. Could there be an attempt to kill a member of the royal family while the players are there? Will they be able to apprehend the assassin? Or will the assassin be able to lay the blame on the players? They are new in town, after all, and clearly trying their luck to gain fame and fortune. Will they be locked up and need to find a way to get out? In a game of cat and mouse, will the players be able to outsmart the evil doings? If the players are successful, there would clearly be a hefty reward. It just so happens we have a room where all the gold is kept. Maybe something of great importance has been stolen from here and the party have been tasked with tracking it down and returning it. Maybe this is how they find out there's a traitor in the royal court and can further assist and help. A royal palace wouldn't be complete without guards to stand and protect it. When people come to speak to the king or queen, they might stand around the room and be a presence to ensure no one gets any funny ideas. We turn two of the rooms into bunk rooms. This might be for the guards around the palace. Maybe the guards take it in turns to be on duty. Surely one of them would have seen if someone went into the treasure room, wouldn't they? Or are their memories a bit blank? at that bit. Has magic been used? Or have some of them also turned traitor? Unlike a lot of generic throne rooms, we've added in plants. We take a plant pot and increase the size. We take trees and make them look like they're planted. Whilst they might just be trees for nice decoration, we thought about having them as petrified trees. Maybe four perfect dryad trees that were taken and dried out. They have an enchantment placed on them to slumber and come alive if the throne ever comes under attack. Everyone needs food. Me included. And when meeting royalty, there should always be food. It might be that there are canapes that are brought around while people stand talking. Is there an evening of entertainment where circus skills are performed? Could the players be asked to show off some of their own skills? Things like tests of strength, acrobatics or even friendly duels. Whilst you can quickly and easily make maps using Dungeon Alchemist, we like spending time adjusting and adding to it. No matter the amount of time you have, you can generate a map that you can use for your own campaign and style of roleplay. If you're enjoying this video, please do hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed so you know when our next video goes live. Let's take a quick wander through the map so you can see it as the characters would. If you would like to use any of the maps we make, Please consider supporting us on Patreon, where you can gain access to all of these. Along with updates from Lutar Lab and Life Behind the Green Screen. Remember, for every comment of hashtag snacks for loot, we'll make sure that loot gets an extra snack. I like snacks. So until next time, may the dice be ever in your favour.